Hello again, viewers, and greetings, fellow space travelers. This is Thorn of Night, and welcome back to another day on the Performium Duck SMP down here in the Alchemist Grotto. And this little head here is very happy because people have been clicking on the subscribe button. This number has gone up by two. And it may not seem like much, but to me, it's everything. Hello and welcome, new fellow space travelers, and greetings again. So, today, a, a few things going on. I've been doing some behind-the-scenes busy work uh, in prep for a couple of projects. And one of them I am actually going to be working on today. But before I do that, I do want to check... See, nope, nothing new there. Okay, that's cool. You're still here. Merged with the wall. You guard that bed, buddy. You guard that bed. Okay. So today, I have a number of things I want to take care of. Oh, wrong side. Is it, is it this side? Is this side? Yes, it's this side. So I have the entrance here that uh, accepts the donations and people can come and visit and all that. And right in front of it is this big old mushroom. I'm thinking, because this stalk blocks the path directly, that I'm going to make the stalk of this mushroom flare out and be one of those big, wide stalks and have a three-wide walkway that is going to make it so people can clearly see the doorway and everything else. Because, let's see here. Yeah, this is the correct line. This... Is in line with the stock, and yes, okay, good. I did it right. Hello, what are you doing here? I swear, even though I've lit up everything excessively, there's still spots where things can spawn, and I need to know where. I want this place to be safe for everyone, but that's all right. I have set up a thing. So this here, this claim, is the main homestead. And it's where I'm going to be doing a lot of the medium-sized builds and some of the things related to the mushrooms and stuff like that here. But also, I have lots of outside builds. What on earth? Oh! Oh! That's right, those are the shulkers for the wall, some of them. And if you go just on the render distance, shulkers despawn. That is wild. And chests, too. That's right. And signs. Okay, now that's pretty wild. Anyway, uh, distraction. Ah, Cuddles is opening crates at spawn. Oh, hello! That was an angry Enderman. Don't know where he went. So, this right here, I have decided, is going to be the way in, through the wall, in to visit and... Uh, go straight in towards the house for the donations, or just, you know, to come here and look at things and hang out, or whatever. In keeping with that, I have, with the center line here, that lines straight up to the uh, center of the door, I have set up a very long road. It is over a kilometer. It is almost one and a quarter kilometers, I could even expanded if I wanted. But right now, it's not much of a road. It's just a a 
place where the road is going to be. And alongside, there are a couple of structures from other players uh, from the past. They're unclaimed. But I am going to take this road and turn it into something traversable because along this road is where I'm going to be placing the city. The city's going to be way over there. Uh, but it's going to be easy enough access to come over here. Now, I have gone through uh, quite a few different... Why, why is it not... Oh, I was just missing the block. I've gone through quite a few different uh, schema for having a, a road layout. And I've decided on something that's sort of inspired by... Uh, the roadway, or at least in part, uh, the roadway from uh, Silver Moon City and uh, oh, what, what's uh, the Ghost Woods or whatever it's called uh, in World of Warcraft. And what it is is the the way that its divisions and lighting is set up is this sort of organic kind of path. And either in the middle or on the side are these little divots and uh, I guess little miniature parks or whatever they're considered. Little bits of greenery that also have lamps in them. And so that's what I'm going to do. From here all the way out, it's going to be Instead of having a straight line, I've made it 11 wide so I can have some wiggle room for having the path kind of meander a bit. And it's going to be not the same rhythm. It's not going to be like a perfect sine wave or whatever. It's going to be as, as reasonably random as I can get it and have it just wiggle its way that way, but it's still going to be all within the claim, but it'll look like it's it's less, and there will be some, hello, there will be some lighting going on, things like that. I'll try to make some of it safe. There are going to be some features, uh, like over here is a uh, an extreme hills area, and there's some player stuff over there, but right alongside of this, I even extended it so it would touch if they wanted to. Uh, I'm having the road come up to here, and I I haven't decided if I want it to go underground or above ground. I think above ground is going to be the wiser choice. So what I might do is just modify this. This is abandoned. Hello, lightning. This is abandoned, unclaimed. It's been apparently griefed. There's a lot. Looks like it's missing. But uh going to have the road come up over here. And then, yeah, this is where it really interacts with the extreme hills. And then I was thinking that it would be absurd to have it go all the way up. So, for instance, I'm going to have it come in here at this level. Maybe rise a little bit. And then come back down on the other side. And have, like, a little overlook. I might even claim the overlook so that there's something pleasant to see here along the roadway. I mean, this is a neat place to visit the caves and all that. I'm going to have the waterfall actually reformed and falling over the overlook and the roadway. And then it's going to come back down here and the road will continue. And then it'll taper down. And then it's going to go out this way to the uh, city, town, whatever you want to call it, that I'm calling Breakwater Bay. And Obviously, it's near the oceans or in the ocean, so uh, it's going to be related to water. So uh, I'm going to have a different plan for the pathway that's going to come out here, but it, it's still going to be sort of that wobbly, kind of not straight. It's going to be as reasonably organic as I can muster. Oh, that looks a little hideous. I need to do something with that. But uh, this is 
part of a larger project that I want to give players an opportunity to have a place to call home and not have to worry about whether they've got five bucks or or 500 gems to make their claims permanent so that people can have a place to just be trusted in a subdivision and have a uh, place to, to keep their stuff. Um, now, it's going to still be some time yet before I have that ready, but I am working on a couple of designs. I have I have had to toss out several because originally I, I had this sort of idea where I would pre-build some houses and have them incorporated under the ground and connected to other neighboring houses with like a sewer system or have like a little adventure area. And then I realized as soon as someone has trust on a claim, all it's going to take is like some antsy 11-year-old to decide, yay, I have this claim, and dig all the way to bedrock and, I don't know, fill it with lava or something. But uh, once someone has a small area that is theirs, uh, it doesn't matter what I've put into it. And uh, as a matter of fact, anything I do is forfeit. So I'm instead going to be, uh, like I had mentioned on a previous video, I'm going to be focusing on making the roads look as reasonable as possible inside the town and then I'll worry about the claim subdivisions uh, as just empty locations. Sorry about bumping the mic. I don't know if that came through. Uh, I gesticulate when I talk. But this is going to be part of today's process. Uh, oh, and the beast here has not been on well, not on here for a couple of months. She still exists, still okay. She's just not been playing on here. As a matter of fact, recently she's been doing things with real life plants. And now I have turnips and uh, radishes and onions and several other things sprouting waiting to be put out in the gardens outside. So she's been busy doing maybe some IRL Minecraft stuff and hasn't been on here lately. And that's okay. That, that's her call. Uh, but I have my own tasks today, and a lot of them are going to revolve around figuring out exactly how I want to do the layout for this road. And what I will probably do is have the practice stretch go to maybe about here who knows I might only see flying it covers a lot more space maybe I'll have the practice stretch come to the edge of the wood line here so either way I'm gonna have to do some clearing I'm gonna have to probably do a little bit of smoothing of the terrain and then I'm gonna have to figure out precisely how I want the terrain to look so I'm going to get to doing some of that uh, and then I will be back with a progress update. Talk to you in a minute. So, with the help of Cuddles, uh, there is now a border for the road that goes uh, all the way down to the far end of it so that we can get a better perspective on everything that is going to need to happen inside of it uh, without having to spam click with a stick all the time. Uh, also, I have pretty much come up with how I'm going to have the entrance work here. And obviously there's going to be a, an actual roadway or walkway that connects over here. But then I'm going to have it sort of just like it was weaving back and forth over on that side or is going to. Uh, I'm going to have this not come straight in. I'm going to have it loop around over here. And then it's going to come down around this way. And then come back over like this to the new mushroom that I have put in place. It has a much more flared bottom side so that it can be used as a tunnel and walkway instead of uh, just having that single mushroom in the way. And uh, there was a smaller mushroom over here 
that I've relocated to here because I'm going to uh, consider using things like this on the road itself. So I'm going to have that as a reminder. Also, there's going to be a number of... Oh, what is up with... I? Are the leaves on my tree now causing lag? Is that what it is? That might be the, what it is. That's awful. But I'm also thinking about having a bunch of these and these and these little guys here and these um, end rods with mushroom blocks on them and things like that. So there's going to be a little variety for the road uh, lighting that's going to be in place out there as well as the decoration. But uh, this is just a small progress update. I am going to be next working on... Honestly, I probably ought to work on this part here because it's going to be a little while before I have the whole thing connected up and in place and ready for people to uh, make the journey. So this, from the point of entry in, is where I'm going to need to focus for right now. So I think I'll work on that. Uh, but... Uh, now is a good time during the video to mention that I am pushing for 2,000 subscribers, and I am very close. I have 106 as of the beginning of this video, and so if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe. It's going to help me out a lot, and it feels good to have all those subscriber numbers go up. It's a very nice thing, but also, in addition, I wanted to welcome... Uh, Ryan, still, you may not have noticed them at the beginning of the video, but I sure did. They have been added to the list of patrons. So welcome, Ryan, still, to the family of space travelers. And uh, also, anyone who is on uh, the Patreon can join the Discord, or you can just join the Discord from the link that's going to be put in the description down below. Uh, and when you do join, be sure to pick a role, either uh, Performium or YouTube for now. Uh, that's all I have had the time and space to set the server up for. But there's a bunch of stuff going on over there. And I'm still trying to figure out all the different tiers for things for Patreon. But there is special content on the Discord for patrons only. And I'm trying to figure out some sort of automation for rules and things like that. But I'll figure it out eventually. For now, though, I am uh, going to be working on also doing some more content in the realm of streaming. I have begun working with that, and it seems to be doing okay. So I'm going to try to set up a regular streaming schedule where, like, one day I'll be doing... Uh, Minecraft on Performium. One day I'll be doing um, a mod pack. One day I'll be doing Skyrim, another Dead Frontier, another Seven Days to Die, or something like that. I have some sort of routine with my uh, streaming and also get some videos in there as well. But for the recent past, I've been doing a bunch of fiddly work, setting some things up. So now I can actually start focusing a little bit more on doing the things here on duck and that's what i'm working on including this path so there's some stuff to look forward to but also some behind the scenes things going on so if you want to uh, see some of that behind the scenes stuff or you, or if you want to play along and participate and things like that uh do go ahead and uh join the discord and consider joining my supporters on patreon the more that I have coming in from Patreon and uh, stream tips and things, the more uh, leeway I'll have for being able to do things like being able to get the upgraded version of Streamlabs and uh, other things like that. But for right now, I'm just going to uh, work with what I've got until I can figure out what I need to have. So I'm going to get back to work here. I just wanted to plop that in the middle of the video so you guys could listen to it now. So I'll give you an update on how the road is going in just a bit. Alrighty, so now when people come in here, there will be a connection that goes across this. Uh, 
the path, the actual path for the road is going to be uh, not as wide as the entire, uh, what is it, 11. So it's only going to be maybe about four or five wide. And so it's going to only come in on one side like this. And then swoop in over here. And then hopefully the fence will be a good guide. Oh, some lag. To send the people down this way and then come over here. And then hopefully this will draw people through the mushroom toward the house. Otherwise, I'm also going to have an access point for people to come over this way and examine the lake. Maybe have some access, like a, a little bridge here or something. I don't know yet, but uh, I want to make it accessible, but I also want to guide visitors to come funneling down here this way so that they at least have Oh, what was that lag? Was that really the tree? I'm not tearing down my tree. I'm going to have to figure out what is in this chunk right here down below and see if there's anything causing this. I don't think there is. I don't think our storage goes over this way. In fact, I'm quite certain that the back wall of the storage is right here. Hmm. Do leaves cause that much lag? I have this on fast render. If I turn it off and make it just solid leaves, is that going to... But when I go into a jungle, it doesn't do that. That is so bizarre. I mean, I'm, I'm loading leaves, but not nearly as many as when I load the big tree. So let's go that way. Let's go fast and see what happens when I load the core of the tree. No, that wasn't it. Or at least it didn't do it this time. I give up. I give up. I'll figure it out in the future. Something for future me to do. But it's definitely something to do with... I, oh, man. Something to do with that chunk. Anyway, as I was saying, before the chunk so rudely interrupted me, I want people to funnel in this way so that they can have an initial place to go. And also so they are guided to the donations and all that. I was considering over here making this be uh, sort of slabs and or stairs going up and down but i think i think doing the the hopping is probably going to be adequate i am taking out that block i think that this will be good enough get rid of the grass there and then i'm just going to connect it over like this and it'll go on that way yeah i think this will be good all right, enough of an update. Back to work. I just want you guys to see what I have done and how I mapped this out and all that. Uh, but, yeah. Busy, busy, busy. I'll be back. Okay. I have... The dog has moved again. Hi. Hello. Good to see you. Again. Uh, I have given this enough time for the mycelium to spread to most, if not all, of the dirt that I had in here, as well as some grass spreading. Okay, this still needs to spread, but that's fine. Uh, and that is not all that I'm going to be doing here. After I get everything all connected, I'm going to be sprucing this up, maybe with a little, uh, couple decorative mushrooms along the sides and some actual um, the item mushroom planted on some of the mycelium and stuff like that but for now the the path is done so that brings me to this part over here 
and with the help of cuddles all of the trees that were in between either side of the, of this have been removed there's some straggler leaves apparently but that's fine uh, and I'm probably going to clear out a couple more trees and some strategic spots outside of the uh, roadway but I'm not going to worry about that right now that'll be a uh, situation as I come across one that I want to change then there is this area here I think I have decided that I'm just going to go up through the mountain that way if this person ever does come back over here they can looks like they had an AFK pool here and someone took their water what kind of person takes the water out of an AFK pool anyway uh, I'm going to probably have this come through here and then starting right there go up through the mountain and reattach to the roadway up here and then just have this be the part that goes up over splits this waterfall comes spilling over comes back down bridges across and then starts going down to the waterfront right here and then right here it's going to be a different kind of roadway it's going to be some uh winding sort of piers and uh, um board is the boardwalk the term for the thing that uh just goes out into the water uh, uh i'm gonna have to look that up no it's it's a pier i don't know i am pressured to say it is peer it is peer pressure i'll go see myself out but uh speaking of seeing myself out i think i'm done with today's work i have i see witches i have a lot of other stuff that it needs doing i have some measurements for another project and also another project uh, on this server and I am going to be prepping for whatever it is I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. What I might do is just stream working on getting this set up so that it can be used as a roadway. Uh, that, that could be a fun stream potentially. Uh, so I might have that going, but it may be ocean again. We'll see. Uh, but I'm also going to be looking for, uh, a good order of games and a good frequency of games that I can stream for my channel, uh, as well as potentially making some videos, uh, just standalone videos. But, uh, I want to try to start streaming and... I want to get a sort of a routine, like, I don't know, Skyrim on Sundays and something on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Something for every day of the week. Uh, and if it turns out that uh, after a while that every day of the week is just too much and I need some time off, like one or two days a week, I'll cut back at that point and, and restructure what days, which streams are. I might have uh, some days where there's a stream at the beginning of the day and then the stream at the end of the day who knows we'll see but i when i am not streaming for youtube i do tend to just simply stream my gameplay on discord which you are welcome to join and watch and participate um and i will leave a link to the discord in the description below also if you want to uh, help this channel out and help me grow uh, there is a patreon or if you want to just show up during one of my streams i have set up uh, tips through Streamlabs. you can do tips but um, for the the most bang for your buck the best one would be through patreon and even a dollar a month would help me 
tons because uh, what I'm spending that on, what I plan on spending that on is uh, getting upgrades, like for instance, upgrades for Streamlabs so I can have the full package for that. And, uh, things I might in the future get, uh, I don't know, Discord Nitro so that uh, I can make my Discord channel have uh, more perks. I, I think that's a thing. I'm going to research that. Um, but there are several things that I can't justify spending right now that if I had a little bit coming in uh, from uh, YouTube and, and my publications and things, then I would be able to say, yes, I can spend this on that and get this going and that sort of thing. So uh, I am looking to the future for that and I'm very hopeful, but I'm not holding my breath. And even if I make a little progress, I'm not going to rest on my laurels. I am going to just continue working to give you guys some content of me being just goofy or, you know, just messing around. So that is future projects i have streaming going on lots more videos coming and uh i am working on a couple of uh mod packs for things and th just a whole bunch of stuff coming uh but i'm going to go ahead and let you go thank you very much for watching uh if you have any questions comments or suggestions leave them in the comment section below if you like this video and like what I'm doing here, please give a like. I do appreciate it, and it does help. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so we can get to that 2,000 subscriber mark and beyond. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and let you go. I'll stop rambling now. Thank you once again for watching. This is Thorn of Night, and I will talk to you later.